Yes, folks, welcome back to Talking Walls. We've got a morning video for you today as the fixtures for the Premier League season ahead of the 24-25 campaign have been released today. And we're going to have a quick look at the Wolves fixtures. Of course, spoilers, we're playing every other Premier League team twice. But we're going to have a look at the running, uh, pick out some of the key spots where points could be won or lost. Uh, and of course, be sure to hit that like button down below and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'll flag up the fixtures now on the screen for you to have a look at. And, um, yeah, I mean, th the start of the season is extremely difficult, obviously. Uh, Arsenal away is never a, a straightforward game. Uh, we haven't been brilliant there over the last couple of seasons. And I can't actually remember, unless it was during the COVID year, Everton, uh, the first year we came up, must be the first home game, uh, the first... Well, the last game we've had at home on the opening day of the season always seems to be away. Um, but Arsenal away we kick off with and then we go into another tough game against Chelsea at home. Now, Chelsea, obviously, we did the double over last season. We had a good game against them at Molyneux, but obviously they're going to be under new management uh, this year. So you're sort of entering the unknown there. And that smell of fixtures between August and September uh, is very difficult. And even the games at Molyneux, where you play Chelsea, Newcastle, Liverpool and Man City, it's actually not too dissimilar to the running that we had last season at home. If you remember, I think it's very similar teams. We played Newcastle, Liverpool, City, I think Villa are in there as well, Brighton. So the running there at home between August and October is a tough running. Um, and there's tough away games in there as well with Villa, uh, Brentford, you know, Brighton. So very interested to see where Wolves will be ending up at the end of October. However, for me, a, a key run in there is then November into sort of just before Christmas where you've got four home games against teams that, if I'm honest on paper, you should probably be getting points against in Palace, Southampton, Bournemouth and Ipswich. Um, you play Fulham in, in November away, which is, in my opinion, a winnable game on paper already looking at it. And then Everton and West Ham as well. So genuinely, you've got a, a stretch of all winnable games between November and December. And of course, every game in the Premier League is difficult, but they're the, they're the points that you want to uh, pick out. Manchester United then at home for the Boxing Day fixture. Always nice to be at home for the Boxing Day game. Looks like there's not a New Year game as such this, uh, this season. Uh, but we play Spurs on that final game of uh, 2024 and then we go into Nottingham Forest at home for this first game of 2025. Then have a midweek game against Newcastle United. Newcastle away uh, on the 15th of January and then we go uh, to the final stretch of the season. We play Brentford at home on the final game of the season. Um, it's not an awful ending to the season either. Compared to this year, we had, I think, Liverpool and, Chelsea, uh, Liverpool and City towards the end of the campaign. Uh, we played Brighton at home. Brentford at home, obviously got Palace away in between those as well. And just looking at, at, at the fixtures overall, even, you know, you've got that little stretch at the end of Feb to the start of April as well. There's nice little pockets of, of the season where you look at the fixtures ahead and think Wolves have got a real chance of picking up some points here. Whereas by the start of the season now, you always tend to have seasons where you've got teams like City, Liverpool, Spurs, Arsenal, all within a stretch of like six or seven games. Whereas that's not really the case just having a quick look now. I mean, Chelsea and Arsenal are quite close together and Spurs and Manchester United are quite close together. But the City games seem to be sort of away from them. I mean, it's the end of April, I suppose, you've got Spurs, United, Leicester, then City, uh, with two of those away from home. But I, I don't know. I, it's a, a Look, ultimately, we've got to play each other twice, like I said at the start of the video, uh, and we've got to pick up results some way. But I do remember last season... A lot of people being upset about the, the start of the season, and we actually we did we came out of it quite well, um, especially with the home games. So you know, beat Chelsea, you'll get something against Chelsea. You hope you get something against Forest as well. Newcastle United, we tend to give a half decent game to it. Molyneux as well, um, and even Liverpool, we have done. We've worried them. So who knows? I'm I'm looking forward to it, guys. I'm hoping that it's going to be. A successful season, obviously been very disappointed with what's been going on behind the scenes, with season ticket prices and so on. Um, but it seems like at the moment they're back in the team and hopefully we see come early July when the, the lads are back in pre-season training, uh, that we see some quality come in and uh, we can have a very successful 24-25 season. Let me know if there's any other uh, bits that you'd like to pick off, off this fixture list, guys, in the comments section down below. Enjoy the rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your week. I'll be back with some updates as soon as I can. Be sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you all next time.